All right, now it's time to pimp your boat, and we are talking to Adam at Bundura Boat Upholstery about fluid core wakeboarding towers. Now, Adam, why would somebody want to fit a wakeboarding tower? The main reason is once a tower is fitted onto a boat, it gives a higher tow point. So it's once the border is actually on the water, the rope pulls the skier up higher or the wakeboarder up higher. So it gives them more air when they're going across the wake. So that's where wakeboarding comes from basically. Okay, and are there some safety reasons as well? The main reason is if a tower is on a boat, a traditional style boat, it's a lot, it's fitted in four points, so it's structurally stronger. It's higher, you can fit more accessories to the outside of the tower, which actually make the boat a lot less cluttered and a lot safer for when you, you know, get into waves or bumps or anything like that. Tell us a little bit about the fluid core tower that we're going to install today. So today we're fitting a fluid core T2 Stealth Tower, which is a multi-fit tower, fits to all wakeboard boats. They're 2.5 inches in diameter, so really strong, easy to put up and down, which is really good. Easy to install for yourself if you want to do it yourself and have a full lifetime warranty on all their parts and all their fittings so you kind of can't beat that. All right that sounds good. Now talking about the installing, can you do it yourself or do you need to get an installer to do it for you? You can do it yourself, it comes with all the instructions, um, supplies all the bolts and parts as I said. Um, if you're not that confident in fitting it, Fluorcore do have recommended installers in every state of the country that you just speak to them or email them and they'll put you in the right direction and take your boat down and get it fitted on for you. Fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do now is just talk through the actual installation. So just give us a bit of a step-by-step -step guide to installing the tower. The easiest thing is to get a nice flat spot beside your boat. Um, normally takes two people. It makes it a lot easier to manoeuvre it about when it's not set up. You basically find a good little position where you want the tower mounted, measure it all up, the width of the boat, and then you make the rear bar to suit, fit the front of the tower on, and off you go, it's pretty straightforward. So this is basically what you get when you order the tower from Fluorcore. You get a full instruction sheet, which is really detailed, which is awesome for um, you know anyone to put together. It's quite simple. It comes with all the componentry, all the bolts and nuts that you need to do the job, including the Allen keys, which is really important, so you're not fishing around all the billet fittings, which again are in the instruction book that show you which parts which, which makes it easy so you don't put it on back to front, and also your crossbars and your four posts to mount onto the boat. Some of the really good features that I like on the fluid core towers are the way that they're constructed, obviously a 6106 aluminium, billet aluminium, so it's all solid one piece construction. Swivel fittings, so the tower can be mounted on any location, nice and solid. The cross members that the boats have are really solid construction, so you can see the quality welding, the way it's fitted up, and just the machining makes the product stand alone. Okay, so we've marked up the position where we want the tower to go on the boat. In the instruction guide, it gives you a variation of where it should go. Um, basically, anywhere that the windows won't get in the way of the, of the tower on this boat is a good position. And then a general rule of thumb that we use is basically two metres from the front point to the back point where we've marked the actual rear bar for the tower. So because we do a lot of them, it makes it a lot easier for us to install them. But you now whatever looks good and works well, that's what's important. Another good thing about the Fluid Core products is the rubber insert that they have that goes on the bottom of the tower. They come with two different types. They have a chamois side, so if the actual tower is mounted on the side of a boat that's not completely flat, you can adjust the actual fitting and it'll make it seal up really nicely against the hull of the boat, so a real nice snug fit. Or if you're fitting it flat to the deck of the boat, they just have flat pieces, which are again really good and hold it on nice and tight. So as you can see, we're not fitting on a flat surface, so the fluid core shaped grommets fit perfectly against the hull. So when it's pulled in nice and tight, it's got a really nice snug fit.
If you want more details, you can jump on the Fluid Core website, fluidcore.com.au. And Adam, we will speak to you again next week. Okay, thank All you. All right, good one.